the selling postcards of the hangman, the painting, the passports, Graham, the beauty parlors filled with sailors, the circus is in town. Here comes the blind commissioner. They've got him in a trance. One hand is tied to the tightrope walker. The other is in his pants. In the riot squad, they're restless. They need somewhere to go. So Lady and I look out tonight. From Desolation Row. Cinderella, she seems so easy. It takes one to know one, she smiles. And puts her hands in her back pocket. Betty Davis style. In comes Romeo, he's moaning. You belong to me, I believe. And someone says, you're in the wrong place, my friend. You better leave. And the only sound that's left after the ambulances go is Cinderella sweeping up on Desolation Row. Now the moon is almost hidden. The stars are beginning to hide. The fortune-telling lady has even taken all her things inside. All except for Cain and Abel. And the hunchback of Notre Dame. Everybody is making love. Or else expecting rain. And the good Samaritan, he's dressing. He's getting ready for the show. He's going to the carnival tonight. Desolation Row. Ophelia, she's neath the window. For her, I feel so afraid. On her 22nd birthday, she already is an old maid. To her, death is quite romantic. She wears an iron vest. Her profession is her religion. Her sin is her lifelessness. And though her eyes are fixed upon Noah's great rainbow, she spends her time peeking into Desolation Row. Einstein disguised as Robin Hood with his memories in a trunk. Passed this way an hour ago with his friend, a jealous monk. Now he looks so immaculately frightful. As he bummed a cigarette. And he went off sniffing drain pipes. And reciting the alphabet. You would not think to look at him. But he was famous long ago. For playing the electric violin. On Desolation Road. 
Dr. Filth, he keeps his world inside of a leather cup. But all his sexless patients, <laughs> they're trying to blow it up. Now his nurse, some local loser, she's in charge of the cyanide hole. And she also keeps the cards that read, have mercy on his soul. They all play on the penny whistle. You can hear them blow. If you lean your head out far enough from Desolation Road. Across the street, they've nailed the curtains. They're getting ready for the feast. The Phantom of the Opera, in a perfect image of a priest. They are spoon feeding Casanova to get him to feel more sure. And they kill him with self-confidence after poisoning him with words. And the phantom shouting, two girls approach, get out of here if you don't know. Casanova is just being punished for going to Desolation Road. At midnight, all the agents and the superhuman crew, they come out and round up everyone who knows more than they do. Then they bring them to the factory where the heart attack machine strapped across their shoulders and then the kerosene is brought down from the castles by insurance men who know the check that nobody is escaping from desolation road Praise be to Nero's Neptune. The Titanic sails at dawn. Everybody is shouting. Which side are you on? And Ezra Pound and T.S. Eliot are fighting in the captain's tower. While Calypso singers laugh at them, and fishermen hold flowers. Between the shadows and the windows of the sea, where the lovely mermaids flow, nobody has to think too much about desolation world. Yes, I received your letter yesterday. About the time the doorknob broke. When you asked me how I was doing. <laughs> was that some kind of joke? All these people that you mentioned. Yes, I know them. They're quite lame. I had to rearrange their faces 
and give them all another name. Right now, I can't read too good. Don't send me no more letters, no. Not unless you mail them from Desolation Road. 